Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Todd, this is Filet and Release. Today, we're on Bass Lake in Hudson, Wisconsin, or just outside of Hudson. And I am fishing with frogs. Um, a few of them I have. I got some lunkers and booyah frogs that I'm gonna pitch. And being as I'm pitching out here on this lake, there's a lot of smaller bass that can't get this lure in their mouth for a good hook set. So with it, I am gonna throw a little Kalen's uh, mini jerk just on a regular hook. That'll keep it just under and it twitches just flawlessly underneath that water line. Um, could use it on drop shot but this method i find to be a little bit more fun so stay tuned let's see if we can't pull a few fish into the boat oh missed it <laughs> it's looking good Fish on. Oh, missed them. <laughs> oh, no, there we go. Fish on. Yes. There we go, not a bass, but on the frog, first thing in the morning, top water, nice little cigar type northern pike. So, not bass, like I said, but it is a fish, and on top water, it's a blast. So, let's get them back and get back out there. Oh, missed them. Little bass. Missed them again. We can't get it in their mouth. We are gonna try something else. Ooh, missed them. There we go, fish on. Yeah, there we go. Well, it's not on a frog, but it is a little bass. That, that is fun for sure. Let him go. So, I know I put down the frog, and I said I wanted to fish with the frog, and it's working. But I had just something, a little too, that little bass biting, and he was a little small. Oh, oh got lucky there. Fish on. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he choked that thing. Oh. 
little bass. Little bass. Caught him on the jerk minnow. Get him back. Oh. <laughs> All right, as my GoPro died. As my GoPro died, hooked into another little small mouth, or large mouth, sorry. Yeah, this is a blast. Fish on! <laughs> You know, they're not monsters, but they sure are fun. So I knew coming to this lake, they weren't going to be monsters, but little guys like that, if you ain't catching them, you start catching those, it's still fun. So, throw them back, try to pull out a few more, hopefully find a bigger one. Got a little bass tinkering with it. Got him. <laughs> oh. So, I guess you can say today is about quantity, not quality. Oops, sorry, little Bill. <laughs> oh, he is as big as the jerk shad I am using. But that was pretty neat. fish on nice one too Woo! you know it yeah yes oh yeah haha <laughs> that's what I've been waiting for all morning boys yes So worth it. Look at that. <laughs> Got him. It's not much bigger, but I mean, you just can't beat that. Top water action. Using a frog, the lunker, just awesome. And let's get him back and let's go after another. This is just getting better and better as the morning goes on. On the lunker. Let's get that back over there. Oh, another fish. Fish on. Woo. Oh. Yeah. I think I got water on my lens and I messed up my angle. All right. Right there, boys and girls, we are starting to fish. Another little bass, but he hit the lucker. 
on Lunker, little frog, and that's what I wanted to do today. Let's get them back. So there are some bass hiding down in here. Let's see if we can't get a few to bite. Using a little bit lighter, going to my finesse. Ooh, little fish, but still. <laughs> oh, hold still. Open up. Uh, he doesn't want to open. So, not a monster, nowhere near as big as I was, but it's still a bass. And this is what we came out for. All right. So, today, you know, I'm using my medium light rod, six foot four. And, you know, I got about 10 pound test of braid and then a six pound fluorocarbon leader to a little number four octopus hook, which you know, I use for live bait, but today I'm using it with a jerk minnow. This has been very productive this morning, uh, casting the long docks, pulling out those little ones. It hasn't caught, in a big, caught a big one yet, but the action of it, you can just see how it moves. So. When you cast it out, it just sits below the surface and you just twitch it real lightly like you would a drop shot. But no weight, so it's just screaming the top and sometimes you got to let it drop. But I've been working the subsurface aspect of it and it's been producing very well this morning. And uh, now the bigger bass I was so excited for because today I wanted to do just frogs but ended up going to the jerk minnow just to get some kind of bites. Not long ago I, I brought in two nice bass with lunker frog. Uh, worked it across a little bit of submerged weed and pulled out two better bass and that's all I wanted today was top water on frog. Now I have the lunker and I have two booyahs, green and black, popper and walk the dog style. Um, we'll probably get into these in a different part of the lake, but for right now, this one's producing some fish, so I'm gonna stay with it. And as for the line on it, I am running, I believe this rod has 15 pound, 15 to 20 pound braid, and I am straight tied to the frog. No fluorocarbon on this because it's going to be moving so much I'm not worried about trying to hide it from the fish. So let's get back at it. Uh, sun may be in the view as we go around but I'm going to work around the point and see if we can't pull something else out. We got some weed line out through there. Let's give it a shot. Um, my time's about up. I told the missus I'd only be out here for a little while, so I don't want to get tied up too much fishing and leave her stuck at home. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Missed it. He came completely out of the water for that one. Oh, missed them again. They're a little small, so I may have to resort back to my jerk minnow. So he's in here somewhere. We'll get him to go.
Fish on. <laughs> you know it. You. Little guy, but still. Another little bass crushing it. Come on, there was a nice one in here earlier. I watched them launch out of the water. Fish, oh, I missed them. Oh, I missed them. Okay. Had them though. Working the lily pads. Now I can see why this is so much fun for a lot of people. Never done this. And this is pretty neat, I will say. And productive. Ooh, missed them again. Oh. oh, I missed him again. Fish on! <laughs> you know it! I mean, I'm not catching monsters, but the quantity is there and effective way between a frog and a jerk minnow. Fish on. Nice. This one's a little bit better on the jig minnow. <laughs> this one is nicer. Yes. Look at that. Nice little small mouth. So, I mean, today is going great. We are hammering them right now. And, you know, being as it was a full moon, I was, I'm quite shocked. Um, I believe in the moon phases and feeding at night, but they're showing me that they are feeding right now. So, yeah, we'll throw them back. Um, I'll fix this, but I think I'm gonna throw the frog a little bit more before we move on to spots. Fish on! <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, 
this is so much fun all right well i'm gonna call it a day came out today using frogs and i used a jerk minnow for the smaller bass but came out and caught a few um, caught some nice ones and caught some little lure ones but i wasn't out here for uh, quality i was out here for quantity it's been a rough time fishing and i wanted to show that hey you don't you can just buy a few baits and come out and just have a blast on the water so i hope you all enjoyed if you did hit that subscribe button smash that like button and see you next time